Hi there. This is just an introductory tutorial on using a command line under Cisco operating system. The CLI or command line interface is something that you'll use a lot more than you might realize if you become a computer or a networking guy. In Cisco, routers and switches, you use it all the time. And for working on PCs and computers and uh, general network administration, you'd be surprised at how much you do at a command line also. But this is uh, some of the Cisco stuff that I'm going to show you here. Now, when you're in a command prompt, you're going to type not point and click so much. In this case, you're in the command shell, and it says press return to start. And you see in the bottom left corner what we call a caret. It's the greater than sign. In this case, it indicates that you are in user mode, and that is a low-level, non-privileged mode at a router or switch. To get into a more powerful mode, you type enable, and this puts you in what's called privileged mode. And you see the change in the prompt from a caret to the hashtag. To get out of this, you type the word disable, enable, or exit will take you out also. Now in this case, when you type exit, it throws you right off the machine. It says con0 is available. This means console line zero is now available for somebody else to connect with. You hit enter, it sends a signal, and the machine, if free, will offer to connect. Type enable, and you're now in privileged mode. Now, the way you obtain help at the command prompt in Cisco is you just enter a question mark. You don't even need to press the return key. As soon as you hit question mark, it comes up with your contextual help. Now you see the more at the bottom. If you hit the space bar, it will go through a page of whatever else is ready to scroll up. If you hit the enter key, as I'm about to do, you will go up one line. If you hit the space bar, you will page up. A whole page comes up. That's it. Likewise, if you disable this mode and you go back to user mode and hit the question mark. You get the list of commands available at the user prompt. Enable. And you see the hash. One of the commands you use the most in Cisco are the show commands. You use the show commands to show you various configurations and status on any machine that you're looking at. To get help with a command, you usually type that command and to see its options you hit the question mark again. Page 1, spacebar. Page 2, page 2. And that's it. That's the full page of show options here. There are many different show commands that you can use. And one of the most popular ones that we use is to show the running config, the running configuration file of a switch or router. And what that is is a text file that's actually rather long. That's page one, spacebar. And those are the interfaces that are not configured yet. Spacebar. And you see the word end at the bottom. That's hit. Or I'm going to hit spacebar again. And it throws you back to the hashtag. That's running config. You can show the contents of flash memory. You can um, show what protocols are configured and running. You can also show history. What the history is is just a history file of your most recent commands. And there's the list of commands I just ran in consecutive order. If you type the arrow key from your current uh, context, it'll automatically load the previous uh, command. Hit it upwards again. You see it's going up the list. Protocol. Next one should be flash. Up arrow. Show flash. Show running config. This is a uh, shortcut. If you're working, 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 you've got several commands you're using, you can go up and down. Once you're in the contextual menu, 
uh, file, the history file, you can go down. up and it is a time saver once you know what you're doing and it's reflexive it makes it very quick you can use the control keys and there's a control key combo that allows you to show history control P is previous control N is the next one for up and down another show command is you can show the system clock. You can show the hosts or various other machines you're connected to. In this case, it's not configured to connect, so there are no hosts. You can show users that are connected. Same thing, there are no users here. You can just show the interfaces. Now, this shows all the interfaces, which are either serial or Ethernet. You can see serial zero. See serial one here, spacebar, Ethernet zero. It's administratively down because it is not configured. Ethernet one, basic RAID interface zero, two. Back to show protocols. And that's that.